Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Annie Faye. For those of you that don't know me, for those of you that do, hello, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. For today's video, I'm going to be doing another foundation review and wear test. This time I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I love everything Charlotte Tilbury. She can do no wrong by me. My current favorite foundation is actually the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. So I'm really excited to try this one out for something a little bit lighter because this is very, very full coverage. Like it's beautiful. I love how my skin looks with it but this is more of like a medium coverage it's meant to be very lightweight okay so I just went ahead and zoomed you guys in put my hair back and now I'm going to prep and prime using the Charlotte Tilbury magic serum crystal elixir and Charlotte's magic cream I actually got these two in a little bundle from Sephora with this one here the magic cream light and these are really expensive products so i just got this little trio for 95 dollars i think just because i really wanted to try them out but they're so expensive like full size so i thought this would be perfect i'm going to start with the magic serum first i hope i'm using enough i'm trying to film a tiktok as well so i'm just going to do the other half of my face off camera but i'm excited to see how this elixir works I'm also gonna be using the magic cream today. I can't wait to see how my makeup looks with this because um, I've actually been wanting to invest in it for a while. So I have high hopes. And finally for the foundation. So I picked up the shade seven neutral. Um, I'm hoping it matches my tan. It's the same color that I use the Airbrush Flawless Foundation in, so I hope it works. So the foundation claims to improve the look of your skin instantly when you wear it and throughout time as you continue wearing it because it does have a bunch of skincare in it. Let's get into it and see for ourselves. The packaging is nice, it's got a pump, so it's really easy to use. Um, let's see how liquidy it is. Oop. Okay, so it's like a classic liquid foundation. It's not too runny though, because I do have another serum foundation and it's very runny. Like I mentioned, I've been trying to film a TikTok, so I already applied some on this side of my face using a sponge. However, um, it's just really, really light coverage. As you can see, a lot of my blemishes are still peeking through. So I'm actually just going to discard the whole sponge idea and go in with the brush. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm just able to get much better coverage using a brush, so. I'm just using a Morphe brush to buff that in. Um, there's no number on it, but I'm gonna link the set I got it in down below. And you can already see how much more coverage I'm getting with the brush and how much better my skin is looking. Wow, it is beautiful though. Do you see that glow? Oh my God. I do think I'm gonna have to work to build it up a little bit, but like, it looks insane. But like I said, it's a medium coverage foundation. It claims to be light as air and it's like a serum foundation. It has a bunch of skincare in it, including hyaluronic acid to hydrate your skin, rose complex to brighten your skin. And this helps achieve a nice, beautiful, healthy glow. It's meant to last up to 16 hours and have a very natural finish. So far it is looking really, really natural. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight, contour, blush, all that good stuff. Okay, conceal and contour is done. Now I'm going to set using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Setting Powder. This is in the shade Banana. And it actually comes with a little powder puff. So I'm just going to pick up some product on the powder puff. I'm going to tap off any excess on the back of my hand, and then I'm going to press it into my skin. And I've been loving using a powder puff for my powder recently. I just feel like it makes my skin look so much more airbrushed. I just wanted to show you guys how I'm setting so that you can take that into consideration um, when determining how long wearing it really is. With any excess powder I have remaining on my lid here or in the lid, I'm just gonna pick it up with a blush brush and then just tap that all over. I'm also just kind of going back and forth under my eyes um, just in case there's any excess. I just want to wipe it all away. Okay, I'm going to finish up and I'll be back. Okay, and my full face is done. I'm just going to do... Oh, that was not my best. That was not my best moment. Um, my full face is done. I'm going to do one last misting of a setting spray. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Now that this is done, I'm just gonna zoom you in a little bit more, show you texture. 
I think I have a bit of a mustache going on right now, so let's just ignore that. I'm gonna try to wear it for eight hours. That should be 2 a.m. It's okay, I stay up late anyway. Let's, let's zoom you in. Apparently I can't zoom in more, so let me just lean over my makeup desk. Um, here it is. First of all, this glow is insane, so beautiful. You can still kind of see some imperfections, but um, I'm okay with that because it's a very light foundation, so it's not a big deal. And I also just feel like they're more visible on camera than they are when I look in the mirror because of how close I am to the camera right now. Yeah, it is looking gorgeous. Um, I'm gonna check back in in a few hours and then just do like nightly updates. I'm just staying at home tonight because there's a lockdown again. Okay, I am back. It is 10.36. It's been about four and a half hours. I had dinner, I watched a movie, and I cried a little bit. So I touched up my makeup, like the inner corner liner and my lips, obviously. I also blew my nose, so there's probably some foundation missing around my nose. But the rest is still looking pretty good. Um, obviously, I am getting a little bit oily here, here. You can see where, but that standard happens with pretty much any foundation. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm very oily up close, but to be fair, all things considered, we started this look off very radiant, um, so it makes sense. I think it still looks good. Like all it would take is a little tiny bit of powder and I would look good as new. Yeah, my smile lines just have a lot of creases, which again, it happens a lot, but I feel like four hours in, it's usually not this bad, but that also could be because I used a different primer than usual. Um, don't get me wrong, I think this is beautiful. I think I just need something a little bit more pore filling or fine line filling for my um, smile lines. But other than that, I think it looks really nice. Like I could, I'd still go out like this. I think it looks beautiful. Like I said, all you need is like a light dusting of powder. Four more hours to go. I'm back. It is 2.21. There you go. My phone's telling me to go to bed. I probably should. But I just wanted to check in one last time. It's been almost eight and a half hours. In terms of how it's holding up, Obviously I've got a lot of shine going on. It's not looking patchy either. It really is just the shine right now. That's a little bit crazy. Um, to be fair, it is worse though because of my studio lights. Cause I was just looking in the bathroom and I was like, wow, I still look really good. But um, no, the studio lights are definitely making me look a lot shinier than I am. So let me just go over the claims one last time. Okay, 16 hour natural glow foundation. We've made it to eight hours, 16 hours. Do I think it would last? Probably with a little bit of powder. Natural glow foundation, definitely glowy. It's been glowy since I put it on with buildable medium coverage, definitely buildable. Um, you can still see a few blemishes peeking through, but I don't mind. I think it still looks beautiful. I don't need it to be like perfect, especially considering how light it really feels on your skin. Like it's supposed to improve the look of skin with each wear and just like make your skin look more beautiful throughout time. So I can't comment on all the claims like it says here helps to minimize the appearance of pores, pigmentation, and dark spots. That's something I'm really gonna have to wear it for two weeks to see if it actually does. I have actual skincare to do these things for me. I don't really need it in a foundation. If it does do it, excellent. If not, I still think this is a beautiful foundation. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. I love chatting with you guys in the comments. If you like this vibe, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.